Steph Curry, and Patrick Mahomes, two of the most recognizable athletes in all of sports. Although they may play different sports, they have a lot more in common than you might think. Here are 15 things that Steph Curry and Patrick Mahomes have in common. Before we get started, it's your boy Dro, Hear Me Out Entertainment, and I want you guys to hit the subscribe button, hit the like on this video if you like this content. We got playlists for you, so I'll set up the latest in sports, progressive politics, and pop culture. And let's get started with today's video. Number one, they're both 6'3". The NBA average for point guards is 5'11", so Steph Curry is about four inches over. As for Mahomes, he's 6'3", and that is the league average. Number two, both have won regular season MVPs. Steph Curry has won two league MVPs back-to-back -back in 2014 and 2015, the latter being the first ever unanimous MVP. As for Mahomes, he won his MVP at age 23 in his very first year as a starter, his second as a pro, backing up Alex Smith for his rookie season, which seemed to help him out and really prepare for the NFL as he threw 50 touchdowns and 5,000 yards. That and other things that I've mentioned already in the other Mahomes video that we've done on the channel. Check that out if you get the chance. Number three, both have won championships. Mahomes recently won his first championship in Super Bowl 54 versus the 49ers in a comeback victory as he claimed the game's MVP award. As for Steph Curry, he has won three championships with the Golden State Warriors, two of them back-to-back -back with Kevin Durant. However, Steph Curry has never won finals MVP, something a lot of people hold against him when they consider his legacy. Number four, their fathers. They are both juniors and sons of professional athletes. Just a small side note, both played internationally, one in Japan, one in Toronto. Both retired around the same time, Mahomes in 02, Dell Senior in 03, as well as having kids around the same age during their playing careers, Curry Senior at 27, Mahomes Senior at 25. Both Mahomes and Curry Jr grew up in professional locker rooms and were exposed to the things that these players were exposed to from a very young age and they had the experience that not many other athletes get to have. Number five, both Mahomes and Curry in high school were standout athletes in basketball. Believe it or not, Mahomes was actually a highly scouted basketball player in his college days, and his father was pushing him to play that more than football or baseball. Baseball, he was a stud as well, three sport athlete with football, baseball, and basketball. He was throwing 90 mile an hour fastball in high school, 90, 95 miles per hour. And Stephen Curry, of course, was an amazing high school basketball player, went to Davidson, went to Golden State, won a couple championships, did pretty well. Number six, both were top 10 draft picks. Steph Curry was picked number seven in the 2009 NBA draft, which is crazy that he was picked that high considering there was others picked before him, two of which are on their way out of the NBA and three of them aren't even on a roster. Mahomes was selected number 10 in the NFL draft, again, with notable pickups ahead of him, one being Mitch Trubisky, who was once the face of the Bears, now a big question mark in that organization. Oh, yeah, and the guy that he came back from a 24-0 deficit, he was also picked ahead of him. Yeah, this guy, Deshaun Watson. You think owners from those drafts don't wish that they can take those back and pick those guys first overall or at least a little higher number seven both players were under scouted in their college days other than the obvious that they should have been drafted higher they were putting up monster numbers to not be the number one or number two overall pick in their respective drafts i mean look at these stats mahomes was playing in the fifth ranked division in all of college football in terms of difficulty in 2016 while playing for texas tech 
which is in the Big 12. Just like in his MVP season at age 23, in 2016, he also threw 5,000 yards and 40 touchdowns. As for Steph Curry, he took an improbable Davidson small school to the NCAA tournament where he took his squad all the way to the Elite Eight where they lost to Kansas. But at the age of just 19 years old, he was dropping 30-foot bombs all over the place in the tournament. He went on the following year at age 20 to lead the entire nation in scoring at 28.6. Even then, he still wasn't looked at as a number one draft pick because back then, before he changed the league, it was a big man league and little guys that were shooting jumpers were seen as liabilities in the draft. And staying on the topic of college, that is number eight. They both played three years in college. Mahomes from 2014 to 2016 and Curry from 06 to 09. Again, amazing careers, heavily underscouted, and they should have been both drafted number one overall. Number nine, both were better than their fathers. This is an easy one. I really don't even need to explain this too much. Dell Curry, a Charlotte Hornets great but never was a champion or an MVP quite like his son, Steph Curry. And as for Mahomes Sr., he was a journeyman in baseball. And Mahomes just cannot relate to that. He is the face of the Kansas City Chiefs. He'll probably be there for the next 20 years. And for those that don't know what a journeyman is, he played for several different teams, bouncing around the league, very low stock on that guy. Let's just say that. Number 10. Both were drafted in the same league that their father played in. Now, what do I mean by that? Steph Curry and Dell Curry both drafted into the NBA. Mahomes Sr. drafted into Major League Baseball. What do you know? Mahomes Jr. was drafted by the Detroit Tigers. Obviously, now he's a professional football player, but he once was drafted by a Major League Baseball team right when he was fresh out of high school. Number 11, both players transcended each of their sports. Steph Curry, underdrafted, drafted number seven because he was not the prototypical big guy, as I mentioned earlier in the video. He changed the game with his style of play. Him and Jimmer Fredette really made it really cool to start bombing three-pointers from 30 feet away. Now everyone, high school, college, pros, they are all shooting threes. Teams are picking up guys that are three-point specialists. Guards are a more valuable asset to a team now than a big man. The big man, the traditional old big man from the early 2000s, it's gone, it's dead, it's never going to come back. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. As for Patrick Mahomes, I believe we'll see more teams starting to look for Big arm quarterbacks to pair them with speed and try to build what Kansas City is doing. Usually when a dynasty is built, the only way to tear them down is to play their game and play it better than them. So look for some guys in the future like Trevor Lawrence, big arm. Now that second one about Mahomes is just speculation, but Steph Curry is a fact. His three pointers changed the game. He broke every single record. He is the guy that revolutionized the three-point shot in the National Basketball Association. And if I had to bet my bottom dollar on this one, I'll say Mahomes is going to definitely change the way quarterbacks play and the way teams build their operations. Number 12, neither of these athletes are signed to Nike. Now, this is an interesting one because Nike has the biggest names in sports. They scooped up Michael Jordan when he became big. They scooped up LeBron, KD, Kobe, all the big athletes, the biggest ones you can think of. Nike's biggest football star is probably Odell, even though he's on a temporary decline. But Nike is usually right there to scoop up all the best talent. Mahomes has a deal right now with Adidas, and Steph Curry is signed to Under Armour. Believe it or not, Nike had a shot at Steph Curry, but didn't get him for the simple fact that they did not pronounce his name correctly at the meeting when they were trying to scoop him up and sign him. Way to go, Nike. They got LeBron though, they'll be all right. Number 13, they both only have one brother. Now, one of these guys is a professional athlete and that's Seth Curry. And you know what? Seth is actually a joy to watch play. He's not as good as Steph, obviously, but he is pretty good. I would put him on Del Curry level maybe. As for Mahomes' brother, 
he is a popular TikToker now since he's been around the exposure and the lifestyle of Patrick Mahomes. He's become somewhat of a social media influencer. Number 14, they were both considered the face of the league at a certain point in their playing careers so far. In 2016, when Curry was shattering every record there was and when the Golden State Warriors finished with 73 wins in the regular season, people were comparing that team to Chicago and Steph Curry to Michael Jordan. The comparison was there year long and he was by far the face of the NBA, stole it from LeBron for a good year and a half, two years there, and then LeBron took it back. Mahomes right now took it from Lamar Jackson towards the end of the season. Lastly, number 15, they were both drafted to come in and replace the stars of the teams that they were drafted by. The Golden State Warriors star before Steph Curry was Monte Ellis on a mediocre at best Golden State team. Monte Ellis at first did not like Steph Curry because he knew that's why he was there. But they chose Steph Curry ultimately, way better choice. And Monte Ellis said it himself, if he had stayed with Steph Curry, that would not have worked. They needed Steph and not him. Mahomes was brought in with the intention of sitting behind Alex Smith and waiting to take his position. However, Alex Smith enjoyed and relished that position and taught everything that Mahomes needed to know to be ready as a first year starter when his time was to come. Now, maybe it is a bit uncomfortable to be a starting quarterback and knowing that a team went higher in the draft to pick someone who plays the same position as you, you know you're going to get replaced an aging quarterback like Alex Smith. But like I said, he took the opportunity to guide Mahomes and turn him into the MVP that he is today. And there you have it. Those are 15 similarities with Steph Curry and Patrick Mahomes. Now, they may share a couple similarities here, but... They do have their differences, obviously. One plays on the gridiron, and one, obviously. Other than one playing on the gridiron and one playing on the hardwood, I would say that Patrick Mahomes has a bit more of that savage killer instinct. You know, that Kobe mentality, that Mamba mentality, that MJ, you know, that the kind of athlete that puts fear in people's heart, that they got to go play him. Because LeBron took Steph Curry's heart right out of his chest in the NBA Finals on the biggest stage. He's won three chips, Steph Curry has, and has not won one Finals MVP. Patrick, Patrick Mahomes has only won one, his first, and he was the MVP on his first try. So he has that edge. He has the mental edge. And um, statistically, they're both up there. But what Mahomes is doing is looking like he can go even beyond what Steph Curry was doing in his sport. You know, if you compare 30 points per game, I would say is like 5,000 yards in a season. And Mahomes looking like he can get 6,000. That would be like 40 points a game and on efficiency. Not on some James Harden where he's shooting all day, but that's our video for today. And if you like this content, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for more videos. we got the playlist. Anything you like, we got it all sorted out for you. Love you guys. Thank you for all the support you've been giving the channel lately. And uh, just keep having those conversations down in the comments. You know, we're interacting with everybody. We're, we'll see you guys in the next video. If you like the video, listen carefully. To the bottom right, there's a like button. Hit that. Further to the right is a red subscribe button. Hit that as well. And hit the bell for the notifications so you don't miss any of the latest in sports, pop culture, and progressive politics.